Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing great. Today I want to show you a 4 inch square display which was sent to me by Maker Fabs. Thank you very much Jennifer. You are very very kind and it's always a pleasure to communicate with you. So anyway, and uh, I have to excuse the noises that you will hear in the background because I'm recording it during daytime. And uh, anyway, without further ado, this is the 4 inch touch display, of course, capacitive touch with a speaker. So it does have a small amp in here. It has 480 by 480 pixels. And uh, let me go a little bit over the hardware here. It is powered by the ESP32-S3. And it has, oh, let me see it real quick. I should have put the data sheet up here. Um, it has 60 megabyte flash and 8 megabyte PS RAM. And it has two USB one native to the us to the s3 and one over a chip the uh, x cp2101 i think it is it has a onboard micro sd card it does come with a 16 gigabyte scan disk micro sd card it has some files on there and it has also a connector here which is uh, io 20 and 19 and it has also a connector down here with uh, i2 square reset and flash switches this is the capacitive touch controller and here is a connector for a for a lipo battery and it does has a charging circuit for it the only thing it does not have is on off switch which i wish it would have because every time you connect the battery you either have to have a switch in the battery to turn it on and off from the battery uh, but then when it's off it won't charge it so it would be better to have an on off switch on the pcb so you can leave the connector the battery connected and then every time it's low and it's connected to usb it will charge but other than that it's a beautiful psb a uh, pcb what did i just say uh, it has a uh, mounting tabs and also as you can see here are double sided tapes adhesive to be able to glue the display onto a cutout which I find really really good and it has its screen protector I normally leave the screen protectors on here but I will take it off today let's listen didn't hear much but it's off so this is the whole beauty of the screen course you can see my face mirroring in there and it has this uh, I think it's a 2 watt or 3 watt speaker and it's very very loud it's it sounds beautiful actually for its size and the reason why is because it's an enclosed uh, it's a closed enclosure so the air cannot <clears throat> uh, escape from the back and it's magnetic so if you have something steel you can attach the oh you cannot <laughs> i'm sorry that's the that's not magnetic i thought it's magnetic but it does have a double-sided tape sticker here on the front so you can glue it onto a surface and um, i think this is pretty much to the hardware let me plug it in and show you what code it does come with and of course they have other examples on their website so this is the initiation code and oh it does support up to three touch points it might be even more but on this code example it's three so if i touch it with three fingers it does show a few pictures that are on the micro sd card including the song that's gonna Okay. Okay. 
it's a beautiful song i don't know if it's copyrighted or not we'll see or oh, i will see when i upload the code uh, the video <laughs> upload the code uh, it's very very loud as you've seen and i couldn't even muffle it with my hands so it is definitely loud enough if you have this as a music player in your room or whatever it will be loud enough except really loud enough so that was the main code or the code that comes with it let me turn this back on so if i don't touch it with three fingers it does change the screen color and show the touch point oh what i notice is zero is down here bottom right normally it's up top but uh, if you want to have this on the top you would have to mirror it in the code which you can so anyway or mount it upside down but then everything else is upside down so anyway now let me upload the famous l v g l code onto it uh, it's gonna take a while i will pause the video for that okay you will be able to see it on the clock here i did not take a notice of it but it takes a couple of minutes till my slow computer compiles and uploads the code so here is the lv gl widgets example and you probably have seen it in other videos and it works rather nicely and over here i think we have also on screen keyboard right there so it's pretty nice i could not get the music widgets to um, compile so i would have uploaded there that i did take off the speaker so it doesn't dangle around here and now i'm gonna show you another code that my friend nick sent me and uh, it's from made with square line studio i will put a link in the description and also of course a link to this nice nice display here i like that it's square i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet but i do like it and of course i wouldn't uh, want to use a display without touch anymore so i will pause the video again because i'm compiling the other code before it does upload that uh, you can also change the tab colors here with a small widget here or small touch point here which i like very much so anyway back to waiting for the other code okay actually that did not take that long and this is the code this is made as i said with square line studio uh, which is good for widgets and whatnot and here in this example you can see an analog gauge that you control with touch of course it could read the sensor and show it like that and the sleep button does not nothing doesn't do anything in the code of course you could put it to sleep and then wake up through the touch screen so this is a code that as i said nick sent me thank you very much nick and because to get around in square line studio it's a little bit complicated i still don't know how to use it yet i did not get around to try it further but anyway this was it for this nice little square display with 480 by 400 pixels and it's from maker fabs the display controller is st7701 and uh, it's running with the esp s3 esp32 s3 and it has anything that you wanted on here you could put this uh, into a nice enclosure uh, i might design one or maybe make something out of acrylic and this was it i have another video coming up for this little guy 
you have seen round displays before but as you might guess it this one is a touch display as well also for maker fabs of course today's video is sponsored by maker fabs thank you jennifer and i will make a separate video about this little guy here so if you want uh, if you want to see it if you're interested please do like it uh, do like the video if you like the video and you can hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell for any further videos thanks a lot and take care everybody till the next time